in this most imposing stadium and it really is Jimmy Hill quite an occasion apart from anything else for these Northern Ireland players it is indeed and the atmosphere is really more like a bullfight if I can make a comparison than the sort of atmosphere we experience at football matches back home the excitement the drums are beating it really is something very very special indeed they love their football and there's one man of course who is soaking up that atmosphere today is Pat Jennings and if ever he needed a, a clean sheet and he's had a few in his time today is that day and we wish him well the great advantage is that um, Ireland don't have to go for a win uh, I know Billy Bingham is a very thorough man in all aspects of life and he will have established a method for holding Brazil and keeping them at bay they can if they can get that draw they know that they're through into the final round and so that gives them some kind of psychological advantage over the Brazilians who also of course don't need to win to get through but nevertheless they need everything at their disposal today good discipline hard running a touch of the luck of the Irish and some of that magic from the past one other change in the Brazilian lineup is that the number seven Muller, who we've seen come on as a substitute in previous games, very fast. He's starting the match in preference to Casa Grande today. And they have Zico once again among the substitutes. So, as the song says, come on, Northern Ireland. They're playing from right to left in the first half. This is Josimar. Julio Cesar to Junior and the inevitable Socrates, number 18, who will be strolling around in the midfield. David McCreary goes to him straight away. Alamal. Ian Stewart started on the left wing for Northern Ireland. They've only got uh, Colin Clark as an out-and-out -out striker. Even Whiteside's going to come from a deeper position today. Junior. To Josimar, Julio Cesar, Socrates. Alemão, Junior, Socrates, Edinho coming from the back, Alemão. Karek is in the centre forward position. This is Muller, fouled by Donegan. First moment of truth for Northern Ireland. And uh, Edinho, the number four and captain, has gone up into the penalty area. Junior will take the kick. Charge down. Well, our thanks to John Motson for filling in because, as you probably gathered, we've had the usual Mexican hiccups, but we can now join our own commentator, Michael Nesbitt. Pat Jennings made his debut on the 15th of April, 1964, in a 3-2 win against Wales and Swansea. And now extends his own world record with his 119th cap. At the far end, the Brazilian goalkeeper, Carlos, 30-year-old, rated by Billy Bingham as world-class and certainly hasn't been beaten yet at Mexico 86. This is Muller. Again, Donaghy is with him. Careca, a junior, class player junior. Always likes to come up with the unexpected. This is Socrates. Julio Cesar. Edinho, Rotomar, Muller, Brazilian stringing some passes together there. Colin Clark, who's all on his own up front, Northern Ireland playing five across the middle, with Norman Whiteside dropping back to join 
McCreary and McElroy in the middle of the field and wide David Campbell on the right and on the left Ian Stewart Siegfried Kirsten of East Germany is the referee today completing the circle of the British teams he's already been linesman for Scotland against Denmark and also for England against Morocco three over the ball Whiteside making a break there leading Sammy McElroy and Ian Stewart McElroy's kick looking for McDonald's and it's gone for a goal kick Northern Ireland can keep this tight for the first half hour they can have every chance of going through here Brazil remember with a maximum four points already from their two matches against Spain and Algeria and they certainly won't want a bruising match today Northern Ireland with more to play for again Donaghy sharply in against Muller Junior Careca free kick against John O'Neill Correca, who player who just missed out on the Spanish World Cup finals, made his debut in March that year, but then injured himself at the Brazilian training camp just before the final started. This is Socrates. Muller's gone forward with Donaghy with the header. Stewart against Osimar. Julio Cesar. Junior in space. Socrates. And now Stewart. Possession won by David Query. Lost again. Socrates. Miller. It's a home decision by the referee. This is very much Brazil's home ground. The only side in Group D to play all their matches here at the bigger Jalisco Stadium. Junior quickly taken. And McDonald's. Safely back to his goalkeeper. This is David Campbell. Only other international experience. Half an hour against Morocco at the Windsor Park. Made his debut for Nottingham Forest just 14 and a half months ago. So just over a year it's taken him to come in against Brazil. Jose Market sees a free kick against Ian Stewart. Just over six minutes gone. Stewart. O'Neill's at the far post. So too was Clark who got the header in. And it's Elzo gets it away to Clark. And an example there of how weak the Brazilian defence can be. Colin Clark with a snapshot. The mistake, though, came from the number 19, Elzo. And Northern Ireland have watched Brazil's first two matches in the group and did feel that the defence was beatable. This is Junior, Socrates, and Edinho. Alamau. Muller. In in place of Casa Grande, the other Brazilian striker who started the first two matches. Elzo playing himself into trouble again. Our junior, the playmaker on the Brazilian side, and he was Ryan Nickel. Junior. Looking for Muller, it's Donaghy's header. Jose Mar against Stewart. Alamau. Elzo. Dino. Nickel. Colin Clark, the only Irishman forward. Familiar tactics from Northern Ireland for away matches. The sort of tactics which won the vital game in Bucharest at the end of last year when Jimmy Quinn was left all on his own. That's Kareka and a good tackle by Alan McDonald. 
Brazil just lifting the pace there as is their want, playing it around casually and slowly in midfield, and then Socrates trying to set Careca free, and the tackle from Alan McDonald. Jimmy Nicol looking for Clark against the Dino. Falls to Alamayo. Muller a crunching tackle by Donaghy. His timing is quite superb. Junior started his career as a left back but moved into midfield after his transfer to Torino in 1984. Muller's onside. Jose Martin supports. And O'Neill. Donaghy. And again, Clark all on his own up front for Northern Ireland. Got in a good header there. Socrates, one of the stars of the Brazilian side from Spain 82. Tackled by O'Neill, Alamao. Socrates. Muller to his right. Jose Mar. And Muller's free. And this time an illegal tackle by Maldonaki. He's quick to apologize. Ten minutes gone. Alamao looking for Kareka. Jimmy Nicol away. Junior, Branco, and he's given it away to Clark. So low cloud cover over the Jalisco Stadium today, but humidity is high, 80%. And the temperature here in the shade of the commentary box, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's tough work out there, I can tell you. The throws for Clark. Whiteside's also in the box, and so was McElroy. Sammy McElroy, scorer of five goals for Northern Ireland, but funnily enough, in all his 87 internationals, he has never scored away from home. It's McDonald, and he's left it short, and Willow got the shot in, and Jennings was there. Muller's too quick to be given chances like that. McDonald leaving it for Jennings. Jennings waiting for the back pass. But the great man's positioning, superb as always. Made one tremendous save from Butroguino against Spain late in the second half when the Spaniards should really have scored. But the positioning and the experience of the 40-year-old, as he was then, outwitted the young 21-year-old star, Butroguino. Here's an opportunity for Northern Ireland. Far side, Campbell, O'Neill and Clark are the three Northern Ireland players. Whiteside and Sammy McElroy are over the ball. And a four-man wall for Brazil. Dummy by McElroy, Whiteside the blast one straight at the wall. Now Brazil break. Buller. He's got Socrates. And that must be a booking for Mal Donaghy. Deliberate handball. The Brazilians broke so quickly there. Socrates was clear. And Mal Donaghy had very little option. Becomes the fifth Northern Irish player to be booked. Sammy McElroy, Norman Whiteside and Nigel Worthington were all booked in the first match against Algeria. And Billy Hamilton was booked against Spain. So anxious moments for Northern Ireland. Ian Stewart's gone much closer than the 10 yards. 
five-man wall. Socrates and Junior standing over the ball. And Julio Cesar just behind it. He hit one almighty shot against Algeria from a similar situation. And the Brazilians make a mess of it. Well, well. The falls to Branco. The left back on the left foot, but straight at the goalkeeper. Ian Stewart, Dean McCreary, and Miles Donaghy. And Sammy McElroy. Nickel, forward for Clark. Zedinho, Alamau. Jose Mar, Alamau, the Brazilians taking control of the midfield, Jose Mar again, McDonald's with him, Alamau, Jose Mar doing a lot of running in this attack, Muller, Carreca's in the middle, Socrates has come a little shorter, and that's for Carreca! A brilliantly engineered goal by Brazil. A passing movement of a dozen passes or more. And then the cross to Kareka, perfect. And the finish leaving Jennings with no chance at all. 15 minutes of the match gone. And Kareka, the man who scored against Algeria, gives Brazil the lead. I've heard a lot of experts saying that they don't think this Brazil side is as good as teams of the past. But quite frankly, they haven't conceded a goal. They've won both their matches to date. And I don't really think we've seen the best of them yet. That was a superb goal. The slow, patient build-up in midfield. And then the killing acceleration as Socrates puts the ball through. But the flag is up for offside. Branco it was who was coming through, and again an example there of the little change in pace, just going up a gear with the telling pass to split the defence. 1-0 then to Brazil, Northern Ireland with all the work to do. This is the biggest mountain they've ever been asked to climb. McCreary to Donaghy. White side. He's looking for Clark. McElroy's throw to Donaghy. Warming up is a Casa Grande. Junior, good tackling by Ian Stewart, showing some aggression. Hurt himself in the challenge there. So Northern Ireland get the free kick for obstruction. Carlos on his line. White sides come short. Donaghy, Stewart, and the flags up for offside. Colin Clark and John O'Neill. Both trying to break the offside trap. Celso, Alabao. Beneath us, the samba rhythm picks up now that Brazil have taken the lead. Tremendous colour and cheerfulness in the Brazilian support. Many thousands of them travelling north for the World Cup and getting increasingly confident of Brazil's chances. Only Brazil and Denmark can finish group qualification with a 100% record. Meanwhile, offside against Branco. 
as Junior tried a shot from all of 35 yards. Ian Stewart waiting for Clark to make his run. Two men on him. And Julio Cesar comes away with the ball. Cesar, a new man in the Brazilian team. Just the one cap before this competition started. But he certainly looks a very solid central defender. Whiteside, McElroy and Stewart. McElroy. McCreary. Donachy White to his left. And Stewart on the touchline, now making his run. And Cesar had read it well. Socrates. Alamau. Junior. Muller, meantime, still waiting to get back on the field. But Socrates, and he's seen the run. And it's all up to Campbell, and Campbell's done so well. Branco, the left back, coming in again on the blind side. And David Campbell, the 21 year old, coming all the way back from midfield to dispossess him. And here is Campbell, celebrated his 21st birthday just 10 days ago, the day before Northern Ireland played Algeria. O'Donoghue. McCreary and Stewart. White side. And the foul against Alamau. So O'Neill and McDonald make their way forward, so does Whiteside. And Colin Clark in the D of the penalty box. Stewart and McElroy over the ball. The signal from Sammy McElroy. The free kick from Stewart. Bad one. And now it's Muller against Donachy. Brazilians here seem to have a spare man, but Mal Donachy again with perfect timing for his tackle. Now it's Colin Clark all on his own. Can't take two men. Gareca has Socrates inside him. And another good tackle by Campbell. White side. McElroy. John O'Neill. Nickel. McCreary. And McDonald pressing forward. Just out of reach of Whiteside. And Alan McDonald's out of position now. As Alamau comes forward. Socrates is there and Kareka. But Donaghy again with a solid tackle. Twenty-two and a half minutes gone in the first half, so that's the first quarter out of the way. It's 1-0 to Brazil. Carreca giving them the lead with an unstoppable shot on his right foot. Muller on the six-yard line, corner by Junior, and the punch by Jennings under pressure from Edinho. This is Alamau. So fancy a shot. Can't find the space. Jose Mar, Elzo, Socrates, Branco. Three in the middle. Socrates on the overlap. Elzo. 
Alamal on the right foot. Always going towards the goalkeeper. That's Clark, McElroy. Stewart's moved out to the wing for him. Here he is. Clark's in the middle. Whiteside's come a little shorter. And Carlos, with a one-handed save, nearly played himself into trouble there. I must say, when Stewart fired that cross in to begin with, it looked as if it was always going too close to the goalkeeper. But Clark's pace took him in, and it gives Northern Ireland their first corner of the match, which David Campbell will take. Clark and McDonald there at the near post. Whiteside on O'Neill at the far. It's long for O'Neill. And he got no chance for a jump there. The referee not interested in the free kick. And that's for Muller. Jennings has come. Read the ball well. Travels a lot quicker in the thin air of Guadalajara. An altitude of just over 5,000 feet. Making it very tough work out there. And McElroy. Clark will have to hold because Whiteside's on a run, but he's not that quick. Careca for Brazil. Socrates for Muller. Careca. And now McElroy for Northern Ireland. Campbell wide on his right. Nickel. Donaghy in the middle of the field. McDonald. McCreary. McDonald again. And O'Neill. Jimmy Nickel looking for the run by Clark. Good control by Clark. Back to goal. Holds the ball for Jimmy Nickel. Campbell's wide. In the middle is Whiteside. Alamayo though with a header to Kareka. Socrates. And just played out of right to touch because we've got a substitution now. Muller's being called off, and Casagrande comes on. A reverse substitution from Brazil's first two matches when Casagrande started, and Muller came on. Muller perhaps carrying a bit of an injury, so on comes Casagrande for a 17th cap. And straight away getting involved with Mal Donaghy. See in Stewart. Clark's ahead of him. He's done an awful lot of running off the ball already, Colin Clark. Stewart. White side. And Jimmy Nickel. And David Campbell. Nickel's on the overlap. If he needs him. Which he may not. He's beaten two. Can he beat Elzo? No, but he does win the corner. Just a hint there of David Campbell's pace and control. Getting himself past two. Uh, winning the corner off the number 18, number 19, Elzo. Again, Clark at the near post. McDonald also in the six yard box. Was McDonald on a punch by Carlos and away by Elzo. This is Donaghy. McDonald with a good decision, leaving it to Campbell. McDonald goes on the overlap, and Campbell looks for Whiteside Alamayo away. Shot by Stewart, took a deflection. Socrates, Junior. 
Junior, Casa Grande, and a good tackle by Jimmy Nichol. Alamau, 35 yards out. Yosimar. Alamau. And again, the patient build up by Brazil. Careca. They've got eight men in Northern Ireland's half. Cizelzo. Socrates could keep this in. It's not dead yet. Carica again. A quick turn. Casa Grande, indeed, it was. So ball goes for the goal kick. Casa Grande now on for Muller. In a similar position to where Carica was to score the goal. Beaten by Julio Cesar, Socrates, Junior, and Socrates, McCreary with him, and that's a fine ball, Casa Grande, and a better tackle by Dear McCreary. Socrates looking to release Casa Grande, McCreary reading the situation well. Jimmy Nichol now penalised for the foul on Junior. Exactly 30 minutes of the match gone. Brazil 1, Northern Ireland 0. Careca the scorer. And it will be Junior with this free kick. In all the way. Pat Jennings asking questions of his defence just off camera. Junior bending that all the way round. And Pat Jennings for once left with very little cover by his defence. Fine kick for Campbell. Uh, Elzo for Brazil. Alamao. Ozimar wide on the right. This is him. Alamao went too soon. It was well read by McCreary. Ian Stewart. White side. McElroy. Dispossessed by Junior. And uh, now it's McDonald against Casa Grande. McCreary 56th cap for Northern Ireland today never scored a goal for his country but that's because he plays a very defensive role for his side always gets the tough job of trying to mark out the talent in the opposition it's Jimmy Nicol again Junior getting in for the ball and Jimmy Nicol penalised Socrates, Alamau, Yosimar, Alamau's gone on the overlap, and so has Yosimar, Socrates, for Junior, and McDonald, and Junior, and what a save by Jennings, and again, still not clear, it is now. And it's up to Sammy McElroy and Dean McCreary to get rid of it. But what a save by Pat Jennings. All on his own as Brazil broke through the back four. The ball falling to Junior and Jennings well down to his left. The reaction still superb at 41 years of age.
And now an enormous kick from Jennings. Clark got underneath it as well to McElroy. Well, that's the first time Pat Jennings has pumped a really long clearance downfield. And it's perhaps Northern Ireland's most effective tactic. It certainly worked there with Clark getting underneath it and feeding the header to Sammy McElroy. This is Julio Cesar. Yosemar. Casa Grande forward. Oh, Casa Grande, Socrates trying to flick it with the outside of the heel. And Clark plays Northern Ireland into trouble. Branco, Careca. Alamau, nice turn past Whiteside. Oh, Alamau, difficult one for Jennings, pointing just in front of the goalkeeper. that little bounce in front always difficult to judge it so it could take a little deflection off the turf or a little bit of spin but Jennings the master had no problem it was Donaghy's touch and now it's Junior Socrates Junior crunching tackle by Whiteside Branco Socrates Elzo through a Casa Grande Elzo again and Branco Elzo Casa Grande good tackle by McDonald the applause around the ground you may be interested to know is uh, the news which has now reached us from the 3rd of March, or from Monterey, I should say, that Spain are now leading Algeria. News which you got quite a few minutes ago, I understand. But it's gone down particularly well here at the Jalisco Stadium. Northern Ireland really needs Spain to win that match. If they should win it, then a draw here at the Jalisco will be enough to take Northern Ireland through in third place from Group D. And what a prospect that would be because the odds would favour very much Northern Ireland going on to play Mexico on Sunday in the Azteca. They need a goal, though. That's another good tackle by McCreary. Now McElroy. Whiteside. McCreary. Whiteside. Clark wants it. McElroy is also forward. That's for Clark against Carlos and the goalkeeper justifying Billy Bingham's faith in him the manager saying that he reckoned the Brazilian keeper was world-class and he showed a very safe pair of hands under pressure from Colin Clark there Alamau Edinho and now Branco Junior is looking for Socrates, the header by Nickel. Junior. And now Nickel away. The only man forward again, Colin Clark. And under unnecessary pressure from Edinho. White side, leaving it for Donaghy. White side, Stewart on the wing. White side takes on Alamau and just clicked his heel. So it's a free kick to Brazil. Just over seven minutes to go in the first half. Still Brazil one, Northern Ireland nil. But a fine performance by the Northern Irish. They've had a very good run in this World Cup in terms of performance. But results just haven't fallen their way so far. Remember, they could have been three up against Algeria inside the first half hour of that match. And then were unlucky against Spain to get caught cold right at the start. But certainly, after Spain had got their two goals, Northern Ireland looked by far the better team.
one goal down here. Six and a half minutes to go. And this is Casa Grande. Josimar, Alamayo, and Junior. He has Branco wide, Socrates and uh, Casagrande, and Careca inside him, and Careca passes to Casagrande, but Casagrande was offside. Fine movement, but Casagrande had gone that fraction too soon. Dave McCreary has run wide for that throw from Jennings. Or Stewart for Whiteside. Against Alamao. Whiteside did well. Stewart, now Clark. And surely a foul indeed by Julio Cesar. Whiteside. McElroy. John O'Neill's the far side of the box. We need to hurry back now. It's Brazil break. Fedinho. Casagrande has Socrates outside him. And Adinho's gone forward with Careca. And it's Careca at the near post. And Alan McDonald there. Uh, Josimar. Alamao. Edinho, Casagrande, beautiful control, now Careca, accidental handball by John O'Neill, and Northern Ireland come away with Stewart. He's beaten Alamao, but couldn't beat Junior with Alamao coming back again. Five minutes to go, Brazil one, Northern Ireland nil in this first half, it's Careca. And Junior looks the best player on this Brazilian side. Pareca, Elzo pushing forward from his deep midfield position. Junior, eight Brazilians in Northern Ireland's half. Ten Northern Irishmen back. Rossimar. What a shot and what a goal! The Brazilian debutante from 30 yards with the sort of shot you can only hit in the high altitude of Mexico. Pat Jennings was perfectly positioned, but in this thin air, even the best goalkeeper in the world can be beaten from long range. A superb shot, a brilliant strike by Yosimar. And with Three and a half minutes to go to half time. It's Brazil 2, Northern Ireland 0. But no shame for Northern Ireland, who are playing very well indeed and coming straight back. Colin Clark and now Stewart. And Stewart forward for Whiteside. It's George Courtney, incidentally, with the red flag. The English referee on the touchline over there. Well, the Jalisco Stadium absolutely buzzing now. That is Brazil at their very best. Josimar coming on for his first cap in place of Edson. An exciting attacking right back and proving that he can do it too. Well, anyone who thought Brazil might be an easy touch or mightn't be keen to win this match, must surely be convinced by now. This is a class team. Jennings with another mighty kick downfield to Clark against Adinho. Uh, now Yosimar, the latest Brazilian hero. Alamau. And Socrates. Casagrande. Socrates in the overlap. And it falls to Elzo. Off McDonald for the corner. 
Indeed, the linesman on this uh, near side, Idrissa Traore, thought that it was a deliberate handball by Alan McDonald. That was his original signal. March Junior. Edinho had come forward, and it's Campbell with him. Edinho did well. Branco round the back to the touchline, and Kareka beaten by Whiteside. Colin Clark needs to hold it. He's all on his own. And McElroy. Stewart to come inside. Socrates. Junior. Alamayo. Areca. Six Brazilians line abreast across the midfield. This is Branco. Casa Grande. Socrates. A good tackle by John O'Neill. And again, although this time I suspect the referee will give the free kick. Taken quickly. Casa Grande. Alamau. Junior. So, so casual. A Casa Grande. McDonald uh, Whiteside has had to move increasingly deeper into the Northern Ireland midfield to get the ball and there goes the half-time whistle characteristic of Mexico 86 that we get no injury time whatsoever it's been a fine performance by Northern Ireland in this first half as it has been right through Mexico 86 but the ball hasn't fallen for them they haven't got the rub of the green and today they've certainly got a match on their hands. Brazil showing themselves to be true class for the first time in this competition and taking a half-time lead, much to the delight of the thousands of Brazilians who've travelled to Mexico 86. And they lead Northern Ireland by two goals to nil. Well, if anybody can think of a way back from Northern Ireland from this position, it must be Billy Bingham. His tactical acumen is winning him worldwide praise and indeed offers from overseas. He says he's had four genuine ones in the last month, one of which he's not interested in. That was to coach the Israeli national team. But he's had three club offers from Saudi Arabia, Greece and Spain, all of which do interest him. If he can continue to be the part-time manager of the Northern Ireland international side, he has a contract which runs through to the next World Cup finals in Italy four years from now. But he's very poorly paid when you compare him to the other international managers here at Mexico 86. Bobby Robson, for example, the England manager, reputedly on a basic 70,000 a year. Billy Bingham, I would guess, is on something like one-sixth or possibly even just one-seventh of that. It reflects the differences in resources available to the teams here in Mexico. Northern Ireland by a long way working off the smallest population of any of the 24 teams here. And remember, of course, the conflicting interests for the young sportsmen in Northern Ireland, hockey, rugby, and, of course, both Gaelic codes also competing for the athletic youth. Northern Ireland then have done so terribly well to get to Mexico in the first place. Their performances in all three matches have been totally creditworthy. And here against Brazil, they're up against one of the best teams in the world as Casa Grande breaks with Careca and the interception by Di McCreary. Getting to the World Cup finals, of course, is like winning the thing for Northern Ireland. Always playing against the odds, and since Billy Bingham took charge in 1980, oh, they've made the mighty tumble. It may not happen here today, but two goals and a draw would see them through to the next phase. This is David Campbell. He's lost the balance. But what a good match he's had with only half an hour's international experience to be thrown in in front of 65,000 to play against the greatest footballing nation on earth. Alamau and Yosimar, scorer of that superb second goal for Brazil. And as each match goes on, Brazil looking better and better and better. I know after the first game, some people thought they had no chance of winning the competition. But they must surely have all changed their minds now. Brazil looking a different class right here. 
with a 100% record, two 1-0 wins already against Spain and Algeria, and now 2-0 up against Northern Ireland. Cesadinho, member of the squad in Spain four years ago, Julio Alberto. Socrates. Alamao, another fine tackle by Maldonaki. Reading of the game, quite superb. Be interesting to see if he takes the same route as David Pleat, who's left Luton to take over as manager of Spurs. maldonaki has been a regular in the Luton side for the last five years or more. Julio Cesar. Bad ball by Jimmy Nicholl. Clark. Nickel again. Northern Ireland noticeably putting more men forward at the start of the second half. This is McElroy against Didinho. And now Campbell. Didinho penalised. It's two and a half minutes gone. And if Northern Ireland could strike now, it would change the whole direction of this game. Four big men all at the far post. It's Colin Clark. He's walking. Alan McDonald joining him. Opposite the penalty spot. Dummy by Nickel. Free kick by Campbell. Looking for Whiteside and O'Neill was there and so was Julio Cesar. Now Stewart. Going for the byline against Elbao. And there's Whiteside and Clark. And the interception coming in there from Branco. And an encouraging start in the second half by Northern Ireland. Good tackle by Dee McCreary. Now Campbell. Clark still forward. That's all he's got. Here he is, Colin Clark. Alamao tackled back. And Julio Cesar bringing it away for Brazil. Socrates. Josimar. Socrates again. Alamao, Casagrande, Junior, so confident Brazil now, Branco to Junior, Rio Cesar, Josimar, Casagrande, Alamao, Fine tackle by Mandolaki. Again, Clark on his own. And Clark's beaten one, but Julio Cesar again proving why he's rated as the best defender in the Brazilian squad in 1986. Leads the game so well, he gives himself that extra half second, that extra half yard to get in behind the attackers. Franco, Casagrande. And Julio Cesar. Careca. Ian Stewart. Creary. And all the way to this near side. And David Campbell. He's got two to beat. Grande gone deep for the ball. The big striker on in place of Muller. Socrates, Alabao, Yosimar, Rodinho, Brazil's captain for Mexico 86. Now Elzo and now the up in the acceleration from the Brazilians. And Elzo perhaps going all the way, certainly into the box, and it was John O'Neill with the important tackle. An exciting style of play from Brazil, prepared to stroke the ball around, put together one or two dozen passes in the middle of the field, and then that quick burst of acceleration taking them through. John O'Neill with the important tackle, but it's a corner to Brazil, which Junior will take. It's long and a fine catch by Pat Jennings. It's 
Clark. The fine header, but he's all on his own up there. Going to be a long, tiring day for Colin Clark of Bournemouth, who could well be on his way to Italian football next season. The offer in to Bournemouth from Torino, the club which Junior plays for. So there's an exciting prospect for him. Could be a club colleague of the Brazilian midfield stars next season. And here is Junior with a little dummy for Edinho. He's got five ahead of him, including Socrates, who's offside. Socrates, the doctor, who still smokes and drinks and has been receiving some criticism in the press for doing both of those things in no small measure during Brazil's first two weeks here in Mexico. Doesn't seem to have affected his displays, though. One of the class players in the Brazilian side. And such a calming influence on the side as well. John O'Neill. McDonald. And Clark. To McElroy. Nickel. Whiteside's moving up to the far post. This is Campbell. off Branco for the throw Whiteside and Clark are still in the penalty box McElroy's made the run for space now looking for Whiteside too long for him but Stewart's coming around the back Grande by Campbell Nickel inside him and McDonald behind out of the way for another monster kick from Pat Jennings Whiteside making his way forward the target though is Clark and Adinho penalised Quickly taken to Stewart, 25 yards. And Ian Stewart, never shy to have a go at goal. He's got a couple of goals for Northern Ireland. But three years since he last scored, got that great goal against West Germany in Belfast at the end of 1982. And another one the following year against Albania. Both those matches in the 1984 European Championship qualifying. Socrates, fine turn, Kareka, Casagrande is over at the far post, and here he is, and it was Alan McDonald who got there. Another anxious moment then for Northern Ireland. Ladinho concedes the free kick off Colin Clark. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Brazil 2, Northern Ireland 1. Northern Ireland nil, of course, I should say. Brazil 2, Northern Ireland nil. And Northern Ireland needing that one to get themselves back into the game. Spain still needing by one goal to nil against Algeria in Monterrey. And if that scoreline and this scoreline both turn into results. Northern Ireland, I'm afraid, will finish bottom of Group D. But there's no great shame in that. The whole World Cup first phase has proved to be much more level than in previous years. And we've had some surprises. Morocco, for example, finishing the top of Group F ahead of England. And Algeria, indeed, rated as a better African side than the Moroccans. And they certainly played well against both Northern Ireland and Brazil. This is McCreary. Campbell. Carreca. 
McDonald solid in defence. What a season it's been for him. With Queen's Park Rangers getting all the way to the Milk Cup final. That defeat by Oxford United, the only blemish on the whole season, which took off with his international debut at the end of last year in Romania, and that historic 1-0 win in Bucharest, which set Northern Ireland on the road here to Mexico 86. Scareca, Junior, Alamao, and our white side, so deep in defence, looking for the ball. McElroy, nice turn and touch for Campbell. Jimmy Nicol. It's for white side. Now Stewart against Socrates. Elzo and Branco. Alamao, that's a grand day. Osibar, Elzo with a little dummy. Alamao, about nine Brazilians in Northern Ireland's half. One of them, Branco, the number 17. Junior. It's John O'Neill's header. And now Alamao, if he can control it, he can have a go. It looked to me as if that might have taken a little deflection on its way through to the goalkeeper. Yes, the two defenders there. A little deflection, but straight to Pat Jennings. And now it's quite side. Donachy. He's seen Campbell wide, and he'll have to run back for that. And David Campbell. Creary. Jimmy Nicol. Campbell. Michael Roy. It's good stuff from Northern Ireland. Campbell against Branco. And the cross just letting him down. Off your screens, Billy Hamilton is up off the Northern Ireland bench. Still got his tractor top on, but he started his warm-up program. Northern Ireland really with nothing to lose. 2-0 down. They might as well go for goals. Rossimar. Head out by Donachy. That's a grand day. White side back to tackle. And wins the free kick. While Donaghy in possession, meantime, Jerry Armstrong has joined Billy Hamilton in a warm up routine down below us on this near side of the pitch. And that's Kareka setting free. Casagrande is onside, and McCreary with a superb tackle back. Well, the referee didn't think so. He obviously felt that Dean McCreary caught the player on his way through. Casagrande complaining that his wrist has been hurt in the fall. Well, we can see it again, and it looked to me as if Dean McCreary made contact with the football. Meantime, off the Brazilian bench, Zico has started to warm up, and that's raised the atmosphere around this stadium a few points, I can tell you. 15 minutes gone in the second half, and Brazil have a free kick on the edge of Northern Ireland's box. It's Junior... Junior, one of their many free-kick specialists, bending it round the wall, but just wide of Pat Jennings' goal. Jimmy Nicol, looking for Clark. Rodinho was in there, now it's Nicol again, and Campbell. McElroy, Clark, and McElroy... Oh, and Carlos couldn't hold it. 
but nobody forward for Northern Ireland. Sammy McElroy putting a little bit of spin on that one and giving the goalkeeper several problems. It's Junior to McElroy, white side. Maldonick is well forward, so too is Clark. White side on the left foot. And the deflection of Julio Cesar and the appeals for a penalty. Did it come off his hand and was it deliberate? No, it seemed to come off the chest. A corner then to Northern Ireland. Norman Whiteside who scored the goal, which gave them the lead against Algeria. Corner short to Donaghy. A Stewart, five in the box. Clark's up there and it falls to John O'Neill. Back to McElroy. This is better from Northern Ireland. Beginning to take a grip of the game, Sammy McElroy with two shots in the space of as many minutes. Now Billy Bingham seems to be about to play his final card. He now has three players warming up. Billy Hamilton, Jerry Armstrong and Nigel Worthington. Of course, he can only use two out of those three. But with 18 minutes gone in the second half, it's nearly time to throw caution to the wind. This is Alamayo coming forward for Brazil. Casagrande's in the box, so too is Careca. And Brazil win a corner. Zico, meantime, continues a fairly extensive warm-up routine. Down below us. Badly injured last autumn. And hurt again in a Brazilian training session a month or so ago. Junior, all the way to Branco, and all the way back to Junior, the ball's still in play, Junior against Donaghy, and away by John O'Neill, Alamayo's header, Anayadinho, blocked by both central defenders, and now Stewart, and if Northern Ireland can break, they might just catch Brazil, McElroy, three men ahead of him. Still McElroy and now Socrates. Different class. Careca, Socrates. Jose Mar on the overlap. And John O'Neill again, so solid in the centre of defence. Stewart O'Neill's target is white side nice flick for Colin Clark but Adinho in behind him a junior most experienced member of the current Brazilian side on the field of play 69 caps Zico though is more and he could be on in the next couple of minutes feeling in the Brazilian camp is that he's not fit and indeed never will regain total fitness but now that they're they look safely through to the next phase as group winners here in Guadalajara they want to give him a run out of Mexico 86 it's Branco against John O'Neill Elzo Alamayo Socrates Junior, and that's through for Kareka and Jennings off his line. And again, the Brazilian cry goes up for Zico, who is now taking his tracksuit top off. So the substitution imminent. For Northern Ireland, it looks as if Billy Hamilton will be first on as substitute. Z 
Celso, Junior, Socrates. Elzo's continued his run. Casagrande is on the far side, and that took a deflection. Corner to Brazil. Double substitution about to be made. Billy Hamilton to come on for Northern Ireland. And the mighty Zico, winner of 75 caps and the star of Spain 82, to come on for Brazil. But it looks as if we're going to have the corner first. The referee has acknowledged the signals from the bench. And now he says, wait. And it's Norman Whiteside who is going off for Northern Ireland. Norman Whiteside substituted by Billy Hamilton. He's had a miserable season, dogged by injury. But now on for the last quarter of this match. Zico waits on the touchline. The problem was that the reserve official couldn't find the right number to call off. And the man he wants is Socrates. And there he goes with a wave to the crowd. Scorer of Brazil's first goal in the competition against Spain. And what a moment this for Northern Ireland. The chance to play 22 and a half minutes against one of the world's greatest players. Zico on for Brazil. And Brazil have a corner. And it's Clark at the near post. And Zico's arrival, greeted by a bit more of that old samba rhythm. Franco. Zico's come short, here he is. Alamao. Branco with space on the near flank. A little acceleration, Jimmy Niccolo shadowing him. This is Clark's ball. Campbell. The linesman's kept his flag down. McElroy, Stewart, Donachy wide, Hamilton and Clark ahead of him. Donachy. Hamilton and Clark switch over. Campbell. Nickel. That's a good ball by Jimmy Nickel. It's Campbell against Elzo. Clark and Hamilton still in the middle. Arch Junior for Brazil. Casa Grande, Zico. Leo Cesar. Casa Grande. Yosemar. Junior, Zico. Zico's going to stay over the ball by the look of it. He may well fancy a chance here. Meantime, David Campbell is called off Northern Ireland's second substitution. And perhaps in the end, it did prove just a little bit too much for him. And the youngest man in the squad gives way to the hero of Spain 82. Jerry Armstrong then comes on. Cesar's free kick comes off the wall. Jerry Armstrong to get 20 minutes of Mexico 86. That's McCreary. Hamilton rather the target there against Leo Cesar and free kick to Northern Ireland all 
big men at the far post, Stewart and McElroy over the ball. McElroy deep towards Hamilton and O'Neill got the header in. Clark's there, the punch by Carlos. Now Donachy's header. What a moment that would have been for Malachy Donachy. Winning his 45th cap for Northern Ireland today. He's never scored. But he's an absolutely international class player. Playing a second World Cup. And playing it superbly well. Meantime, news in from Monterey is that Spain now lead Algeria by two goals to nil. So it looks as if Spain are going to go through in second place from this group. And it will be only Spain and Brazil who will qualify with Northern Ireland and Algeria both looking as if they're going to go out with just the one point to their name. Grande, Rosimar, Zico, Elzo, Casagrande, Rosimar, Alamao, Zico, looking for Junior. touch Colin Clark Branco Brazil of course with the best record in the world of the World Cup finals never failed to qualify and they've won three times Sweden 58 Chile 62 and then most recently here in Mexico in 1970 and they started that campaign here in Guadalajara and it looks as if they're going to stay in Guadalajara a bit longer if they finish top of this group that's what happens and they could stay here all the way to the semi-finals and on the sort of performance they've given today who's to say they won't make the semi-finals or indeed the final and their fourth World Cup looking a class side this is Stewart. Wins the throw in. Yossi Mar, the number 13, winning his first cap today and scoring that most spectacular of goals just before half time. 2 0 to Brazil. Northern Ireland looking for that way back. Colin Clark. Holding it well. But losing to Junior, and now Zico. Careca. Junior. Zico. Alamao. Zico on the right foot, and the block by McCreary. Gives the corner to Brazil. Swinging Jennings goes up, the header by Hamilton. And safely back to Jennings from his roommate of many a year now, Jerry Armstrong. Down to Monterey, it's now Spain 3, Algeria 0. So Spain safely through to the second phase. Ian Stewart. Northern Ireland could yet finish third. In Group D, Algeria and I have an inferior goal difference. It's Armstrong. McDonald. Jimmy Nicol with a little touch. Strong challenge by Armstrong. Well into the last quarter of an hour, 
here at the Jalisco Stadium, Guadalajara. Brazil 2, Northern Ireland 0. McElroy. Armstrong was coming in strongly there. Away by Elzo, but only to McElroy. Now Nicol. It's a good cross, and it was Julio Cesar. Now Stewart. A good header again by Julio Cesar, and Ian Stewart lining it up, but the balance not quite right. Brazil breaking with Junior. Carreca's ahead of him. Casa Grande as well. This is Carreca onside. Casa Grande coming in and also Zico. Still in play. This is Branco. Against Armstrong. The far side. Carreca on mark. And another great save by Jennings. Pat Jennings saves Northern Ireland again. Inside the last 15 minutes of his international career, he must be now. And again, the body positioning quite superb. 22 years as Northern Ireland's goalkeeper. He's seen off another seven keepers during all that time. And should Northern Ireland lose and go out today, we must say goodbye to Northern Ireland's most faithful, most, most faithful servant, made his debut along with George Best back in 1964 but has done a lot more than anybody else for Northern Ireland his 119th cap today that header was by Elzo not by Alamao McElroy Armstrong, Hamilton and Clark, and Donaghy all in the middle. Julio Cesar again with a header. Armstrong, McDonald, Areca, Junior against McCreary. interpretations of the rules by the referee doesn't like such a strong sliding tackle from Dean McCreary Zalamao Zico against Jimmy Nickel and now Ian Stewart Colin Clark the only Northern Irishman in Brazil's half of the field Exactly 10 minutes of this match to go. Brazil 2, Northern Ireland 0. McDonald, good control. Brought it down well. Sees Hamilton far side. But too long for Billy Hamilton. against Kareka. Ryan Stewart. Three forward. Hamilton who's come short, but Alamao with the interception. Still Alamao. Now Zico hasn't been putting himself about by any means, still obviously carrying that injury. But I he would dearly love a goal. Casagrande. Junior and Jimmy Nicol back to Jennings. Eight and a half minutes to go. Now 
And what a story if Northern Ireland could pull one back at this stage. It's Ian Stewart wins the throw of Falabao. McCreary. Jimmy Nicholl, middle of the Brazilian half of the field. Bad ball though, Adinho, Casagrande, and Adinho again. Casagrande, Zico, Junior to his right, here he is. Casagrande wants it for side, and back towards Zico, but Jennings read it well. Jerry Armstrong to launch an attack for Northern Ireland, running deep from midfield as he did in Spain four years ago. Stewart to Hamilton. Armstrong and Clark are in the middle. McElroy. Sammy McElroy. Oh, what a good shot and a good save by Carlos. And what a moment that would have been for Sammy McElroy, bending it with the left foot. He deserved a goal. He's been such a loyal servant to Northern Ireland. who are in trouble now with Kareka. And Jennings needed the save. Casagrande was coming in. And Sammy McElroy's had three good shots. That last one, the best of them. Winning his 87th cap today for Northern Ireland. Scored his first goal 11 years ago. He's been around a long time. And what a great moment it would have been. I richly deserve a goal against the mighty Brazilians. Here he comes again. Elzo. Branco. Casagrande. The support now coming for Brazil, including Zico. Creary read it quicker. Gave it away to Alamayo though, and John O'Neill again, solid there in the middle of the Irish defence. Hamilton. Yosimar to Kareka. Casagrande. And on the far side, Junior's come through on Mark. Junior against Jennings. Inside, Zico and off by McDonald. And Brazil opened up the Irish defence there. Pat Jennings made the first block. Well, Junior passed inside. McDonald was there to block Zico. Jerry Armstrong for Northern Ireland. Colin Clark wants it here on that far side. Hamilton's in the middle. Jose Mar, though, was there for Brazil. And Alamayo. Into the last five minutes of the match, and the Brazilians now celebrating 2-0 up with a 100% record in Group D. And all the time looking a better and better side. It's a team which will surely go most of the way, if not all the way, Mexico 86. This is Zico. Zico again. Areca. Josimar. Alamao. Elzo. And again, McDonald blocking. Now it's Branco. Casagrande. Junior, beautiful flick, but Sammy McElroy with the interception, but misunderstanding. And now it's Zico. Casagrande and Zico, and he couldn't get the shot in, but perhaps Casagrande can. Blocked by Jennings once, and what a 100 save! The trademark of 22 years of Pat Jennings as one of the world's greatest goalkeepers. 
and he brings it out with what appears to be three and a half minutes of his career left. This is Edinho, the captain of Brazil. Alamau. Zico, Carreca outside him. And Zico again with a touch of Carreca. Two and a half minutes to go. A beautiful flick, first of all, by Zico. And Carreca on the left foot. And there was absolutely nothing Jennings could do about that. The class of Brazil showing there. Zico with the back heel, Carreca on the left foot. He gets his second of the match, and Brazil take a thrill 3 0 lead. Two and a quarter minutes to go. So, no point denying that Northern Ireland are on their way out, but they're going out with their heads very high indeed. They can say they've been here for two World Cup running. A country with a population of barely a million and a half has qualified for the World Cup finals and done their country pride. Colin Clark has done so much running today, most of it off the ball, and that's the most difficult thing to do, especially in these conditions. Remember the altitude, over 5,000 feet, the humidity factor today, a tortuous 80 degrees, and the temperature here in the shade of the commentary position, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. It's warmer down there. Conditions so far into Northern Ireland. It's Branco, and again, Jennings saves. Magnificent Pat Jennings to the very last. Branco clear and onside, and Jennings with yet another body save. The body save and the one-handed save, the hallmarks of the greatest goalkeeper we have ever seen. And he shows us them both in the dying minutes of his international career. 36 seconds are left here at the Jalisco Stadium. Brazil leading by three goals to nil, but it could have been six if it wasn't for Pat Jennings, 41 years old today, buying out of international football on a high note. Northern Ireland did so terribly, terribly well to qualify in the first place as Jerry Armstrong picks it up inside the Brazilian half. He's won the free kick. This is Stewart. Full time now up. And just whatever the referee is prepared to add for injury time, which is nothing. The final whistle goes. Northern Ireland end their campaign in Mexico 86. Defeated 3-0 by Brazil in the last game. Having already lost to Spain and drawn with Algeria. But absolutely no shame in any of the performances. They've been first class in the most foreign and difficult conditions. Thin air, tremendous heat, great humidity. But they trained so hard in Albuquerque for a month. Came here supremely fit and gave three superb displays. Qualifying for the World Cup was like winning it for Northern Ireland. And what a moment for them. What a rich reward to play against the greatest footballing nation in the world. The fans so colourful and cheerful. Brazil celebrate a great win, which will keep them here in Guadalajara, possibly all the way to the semi-finals. And Northern Ireland has something very special to remember out of Mexico 86, their first ever international against Brazil. It finished 3-0 to Brazil, Carreca scoring after 15 minutes, Jose Mar with a spectacular goal just before half-time, and then Carreca again three minutes from the end. But as I said, it could have been six, and we have to thank the great Pat Jennings for the fact that it wasn't a superb display in goal from the big man. His 119th cap and the only sadness as we say goodbye to Mexico 86 
is that we must also say goodbye to the big man from Newry.